okay, I was pretty clear right from my childhood days, I think around when I was seven or eight, uh, that I had a very strong affinity for uh, plants and something to do with plants. Uh, and mostly my uh, interest was to uh, grow ornamental plants. And then as I grew, I came to know there was something called horticulture, which is associated with ornamental plants. And, um, and I also like landscaping. So then that's how it took off from ornamental plants to, I mean, understanding what is landscape architecture. And that's how I kind of was all, I mean, I chose botany, zoology, in, and, uh, and I kind of drove myself into always sticking to this, this line. And uh, finally, um, I took up ag agriculture. When I was searching out for jobs after I kind of uh, finished my post graduation, there was agricultural research, there was agriculture in corporate sector, uh, you know, selling agriculture services and providing services and inputs, and then there was NGO sector. Of course, for many years I did nothing with uh, related to agriculture. It was more about r uh, rural livelihoods, and then and then I slowly then moved back uh, into doing. Uh, a subject which is a part of agriculture, which is livestock development. And now I've, after a, I think a 15 year long journey, I'm now coming back into doing agriculture more in the form of um, kind of bringing smallholder farmers to work collectively uh, and think about collective farm management and do agriculture in a group 